In this video tutorial, we're going to demonstrate how to configure DreamReport to connect to a Schneider Electric Cytex SCADA application for real-time, historical, and alarm values, how to log Cytex SCADA real-time data using the DreamReport data logger, and how to create and generate reports with data from a Cytex HMI using DreamReport. So let's talk about DreamReport's communication drivers for Cytex software. In this slide, we list all the Cytex communication drivers included in DreamReport. We can categorize these into Cytec product families, Cytec SCADA and Cytec Historian. In this presentation, we'll focus on Cytec SCADA only, with connectivity to real-time values and alarms from a running Cytec HMI, and historical trend data and historical alarm messages logged by Cytec SCADA. Please note that DreamReport includes two additional communication drivers for Cytec SCADA, a driver for the older DBF format historical values, and an older Cytec Historian Alarms driver, which is included for legacy reporting applications. That driver has since been replaced with the Historical Alarm Messages driver. We cover connectivity to the Cytec Historian data sources in a separate video tutorial. In this final slide, we'll follow a typical workflow in creating a Dream Report project using Cytec SCADA data. First, we'll open the Dream Report Design Studio and create a new project. Then, we'll configure instances of various Cytec SCADA communication drivers. Depending on your needs, you may want to add a Cytec Real-Time Values instance pointing to Cytec HMI, a Real-Time Alarms instance pointing to a Cytec HMI, a Historical Values instance pointing to a Cytec HMI trend files, or a Historical Messages instance pointing to Cytec HMI alarm or event logs. For the Real-Time Values and Alarms data sources, we also need to create logging groups to store the data into the database of our choosing. At this point, we're ready to create a new report. We can drop any kind of tabular, chart, or calculation object on the report and browse to the SciTech real-time or historical tags for use on the objects. After configuring the report, we're ready to start Dream Report's runtime engine and generate the report. As you can see, we have a SciTech HMI demo application running that's simulating a planned process and is already configured to log data to the native Cytec trend and alarm logs files. I'm going to start Dream Report Studio and create a blank reporting project with all the defaults. After Studio opens, I'll open the Communication Configuration Wizard and expand the list of Cytec communication drivers. We'll only focus on the Cytec SCADA drivers in this demo. Configuration of the Cytec Historian drivers is covered in a separate video tutorial. In these first examples, we want access to real-time values and alarms from the Cytec HMI that we can then use to log in the internal Dream Report database, or to show current values on reports, we even use those real-time values to trigger reports. For this, we go to the Cytec section and first configure an instance of the Cytec real-time values driver. We start with a logical name, and then configure the driver. If the Cytec HMI application is local to the Dream Report software, leave the host name blank. If remote, enter the host name or preferably the IP address. If you're connecting to a remote Cytec node and the connection is secured, then enter login criteria, username and password, in the respective fields for the Cytec node. Click OK and then add the configured driver to the list. Likewise, we'll configure an instance of the real time alarms driver, which can access either a local or remote Cytec HMI application. The additional settings we have in this driver allow the user to specify the format of the date and timestamps for the alarm message. It's important that the date and time settings here match those configured in the Cytec application. Click OK, and then add the configured driver to the list. Since Dream Report has a built-in data logger, from which you can log any real-time data and alarms to the database format of your choice, we'll configure a couple of logging groups to log numeric data and alarms from the real-time Cytec data sources. Of course, if your data is already being logged using Cytec's historical logging functions, there's no need to create logging groups in Dream Report. I'll go to the Logger Studio section and then right click to create a new item logging group. I'll name this group Group 10 Seconds. The source of tags for this group will be the Cytec Real Time Values driver we configured a few minutes ago. You'll notice that the browsable Cytec tag structure is exposed through the driver. I'll add a few analog tags to this group. After I add tags to this group, I'll set the record rate for this group. I'll choose the record mode to be every 10 seconds, but could create additional logging groups with different storage types, rates, or conditions. 
Selecting the Normalize Timestamping option ensures that the values will be logged starting at 0 seconds. So for the timestamps, they'll be at 0, 10, 20, 30 seconds, etc. past each minute. To verify that Dream Report can access the live data, I'll force a read or start monitoring. Here we see the current values for these tags. I'm going to add another logging group, but this time for alarms. I'll right click and select Add Alarm Group, give my group a name, and then define an alarm filter for this group. I'll name this filter Default, select the alarm data source to be the SciTech Real Time Alarms group we created earlier, and set the priority to be wide open. Let me add the filter and then click OK. Alarms are only logged on change, so for the Record Rate section, we can specify a schedule during which to record alarms, and under the Record Conditions section, specify under what conditions to record the alarms. For example, only record alarms when the batch status equals 1. Let's start monitoring to verify that we're seeing SciTech real time alarms. Before I run the project, I want to specify what database I want Dream Report to use for the data logging. This can be set under the project's database settings. The default is an access database, but in a production settings, we always recommend using a more robust database platform like SQL Server or SQL Express, MySQL, or Oracle. I'm going to start running the project now so that Dream Report can start logging our data and alarms while I'm building a new report. OK. Let's return to the Report Designer Studio and create a new report. We'll start with a default report, Report 0, and give it a name. Let's leave most of the defaults, but we'll change the report generation time to be just after midnight each day. We could also trigger the report to be auto-generated based on an event. This is where we could use any real-time tag from the SciTech HMI for the report trigger condition. Here, I'll browse for the Mixer Tag Level tag, and look for the condition when that value exceeds 1500. Finally, we'll leave the report format to be PDF and set the option to open the PDF after generation. Now that we've set the basic report settings, let's start adding objects to the report. We'll start with an automatic statistic table to summarize data from the tags selected in the Dream Report logging groups. Remember, these were real-time tags accessed from the SciTech Real-Time Values driver and then logged by Dream Report. So we need to get data from Dream Report history. Click the Edit List button and select the tags for this table. I'll choose a few of the analog tags. Next, I'll select the time period to report on. Let's use the last 15 minutes from when the report is generated. And finally, select the aggregates or functions we want to include. We can further configure each of these functions if necessary. Detailed configurations of the automatic statistic table is covered in a dedicated video tutorial. Let's display the min, max, and average values as well as the times when the min and max values occurred. I'll change a couple of captions here. Let's show those descriptions and give the table a title. I'll do some basic column formatting, and we're done. Next, we're going to place a line chart on the report to plot SciTech data logged in Dream Report. Again, I'll get data from Dream Report history. I'll choose the driver we configured earlier for the SciTech real time values data, and then select and add a couple of flow meter tags. Let me add captions for the legend and format the line chart. The final object we'll add to this report is an alarm table and get the data from Dream Report history. I'll click the Edit List button and select the driver we configured for the SciTech real time alarms, making sure to check the default filter. Let's use the same duration of the last 15 minutes, add a table title, and select which alarm fields to show. Finally, I'll use the alignment tools to neaten up the report, and we'll also apply a previously created page template to our report with a header, footer, and logo.
Let me save and load our report. Although I scheduled the report to run automatically, I'll generate the report now from the Runtime Management Console. And here we see the PDF report. The process summary table summarizes a set of tags that we were logging with Dream Reports, and the line chart plots data from the Dream Report logs as well. And the alarm table summarizes real time alarm and events from SciTech that have been logged in Dream Report. Since I'm using SciTech SCADA in demo mode without a license, SciTech limits the number of remote connections to the application. So, I'll need to create a second Dream Report project so that I can set up the SciTech historical values and alarm messages driver. Ordinarily, in a licensed SciTech system, this would not be necessary. The first driver I'm going to configure is the SciTech historical values driver. This driver will expose the historical values of all tags that have been configured for data logging in SciTech. We start by giving this instance of the driver a logical name, and then click to configure the driver. If the SciTech HMI application is local to the Dream Report software, leave the host name blank. If remote, enter the host name, preferably the IP address. If you're connecting to a remote SciTech node and the connection is secured, then enter the login criteria. Click OK and then add the configured driver to the list. The next driver I'm going to configure is the SciTech Historical Messages driver. This driver will expose historical alarms and or events that have been configured for logging in SciTech. We'll start by giving this instance of the driver a logical name, and then click to configure the driver. We set the connection details, and again, if local, leave these blank. I'm going to verify the alarm and date time format that SciTech HMI is using, and make sure that these match here. Before we add this instance to the list of defined drivers, we can configure various filters for the alarms and events. The default alarm filter will return all alarms or events. You can define additional filters by specifying logical conditions on various alarm parameters, such as by priority, tag name, alarm type, etc. All of these filters shown are specific to the SciTech SCADA alarm log. For instance, you might want to pre-filter the alarms to only expose high priority alarms, in this case, we select the Priority property, set a filter condition for the priority to be equal to 1, and then save these filter conditions under a new filter name. This filter can then be used later on when using the alarm table on a report. I'll add one more filter. I'll click OK and then add this instance to the list of defined drivers. Creating a report with data from the native SciTech SCADA logs is identical to the previous report example, where I use data logged in Dream Report from the SciTech real-time drivers, but with one exception. When I browse for tags to include in the reporting objects, we now select External History Server instead of Dream Report History, and then select the instance of the SciTech Historical Values driver from which to select tags. Here you see all log tags in SciTech HMI available to select. Since I've already gone through building a report in my first example, I'll quickly create a basic report here. I'll add a few objects to my report and format them. Additionally, I'll add an alarm table, but this time selecting the SciTech Historical Messages driver, and we'll pick the filter or filters I created earlier. Then we select the alarm fields and then format the alarm table. Finally, I'll format the report, save it, reload it, and then generate this new report. And there you see the report with the data from the SciTech SCADA historical data and alarm logs. Thank you.